So now we're going to have a look at the uh, instruction cache. So that's all to do with data that we've been talking about there. Now, how about the instruction cache? So we're going to do a larger algorithm now. So we're going to do example number four, which is instruction cache with a complex algorithm. So we've increased the size of our accumulating loop uh, now so that we get a larger number of instructions that will exceed one, um, one row read inside the uh, cache system. So that's the whole reason why we've gone to this larger collection. And we're now going to have a look at locating this in the main flash, but we're going to change our linker files uh, in the IAR by this drop-down window here so that we select either the flash copied into the ITCM, so it goes into the RAM at startup, so that's all managed by the startup file. Second linker file, we'll put it in the flash through the TCM and the art accelerator. And the third one, we'll put it in the flash in the address range where you access it through the AXI bus and the instruction cache. So you will now see the difference in the performance of running code from RAM, TCM art accelerator, and Axibus cache. So it's all going into the same linear address range in the flash to start with, then copied into RAM or accessed that way or accessed the second way. There's a little drop-down arrow here, just at the top of your workspace section there. Uh, there's, you click on the little arrow and there should be three options. So there's three different linker files available in this project folder. And all we're doing is changing the linker file so that we allocate the code into different regions of the uh, instruction area. I've run it through the Axi bus and I get 3,587 cycles at 200 megahertz clock speed. Uh, 